Tomorrow, a Cottage Grove family will gather to honor and remember 14-year-old Joey Iverson. He was known at Cottage Grove High School as the Adidas Kid. That is why tomorrow, family and friends will wear their Adidas in his memory. Joey died by suicide on Saturday night, and as Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us, his family is sharing their story with a hope that it will save others. Like many families, this one spent Saturday picking out a tree. I said, oh my God, Joe's smiling. And my mom, she goes, I didn't even have to threaten him. He smiled this time. And we we're like, oh, he's getting better, you know, like maybe this is his season. But this season would be Joey's last. Four hours after this photo was snapped, Joey killed himself. I feel like he knew deep down and he wanted to, you know, give that one last good memory for our little sister. Lexi says her brother started battling anxiety around the fourth grade when he developed a fear of clouds. That's when we were like, something, you know, really going on here. And since then, it's just been a battle every single day to try and, you know, find something that puts him at ease. But his family says he often masked the depth of his pain with a shrewd sense of humor. Yeah. He always was doing something silly and mischievous and funny. A laugh they will forever yearn to hear again, and a pain that many others know. Suicide is the second leading cause of death in kids Joey's age. Our society teaches men and boys that it is safe to be happy, it's safe to be angry. It is not okay or safe to be sad or afraid. But feelings need to be felt, according to Dr. Mark Lynn, who says parents of teens should pay close attention if teens are extra withdrawn or irritable. There's no one risk factor. Trust your gut. I always tell parents, like, um, you know, we know, we know all of the research and the theory, but you know your child the best. And if your gut says something is off, you want to ask, you want to go in right away. You want to ask the hard questions. Joey's family is hoping hard questions will spare others from the hardest loss there is. Do you think good will come from Joey's death? I hope so. Yeah, that's my goal. In Cottage Grove, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News. Joey's sister says that she hopes to become a spokesperson for suicide prevention. Joey's memorial service will be at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at All Saints Lutheran Church. If you or someone you know is struggling or thinking about suicide, please know that help is available. You can call or text the numbers that are on your screen anytime, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.